With the City Double Cash Card, you get 1% cash back when you buy and 1% as you pay. That's like the joy of getting two W's on the road. We're catching the home run ball without spilling your drink. Double boom. Double the love with the City Double Cash Card. Apply now at city.com slash double cash. Don Lebertard. I'm going to a concert. The date is in my bedroom. Somebody has used the bidet and it doesn't look clean. And so I'm sitting here and I'm like, well, how do I clean this? Stugats. So I'm staring at this. I got four faucets and this doesn't look clean to me. And I've got a date outside. And I'm like, that's kind of gross that that she would come in here and there would be a dirty bidet. She's going to accuse me. I don't know how to use the bidet. I turn one of the fountains right in my face, <laughs> right in my face. <laughs> gets my shirt all wet. This is the Don Lebatar Show with the Stugats on ESPN Radio. ESPN Radio is presented by Progressive Insurance. Pick from a range of coverage options with the name your price tool to find a price that works for you. Guest on the Dan Levitard Show appear via the Shell Pennzoil Performance Line. Here's your Sports Center update. Dallas Cowboys owner and general manager Jerry Jones says he will not sue the league over Commissioner Roger Goodell's pending contract extension, but emphasized that he still wants accountability in the process. Who cares what you emphasize? And Goodell wins. First year eligibles, Ray Lewis and Randy Moss are among 27 semifinalists for induction into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Jimmy Johnson and Terrell Owens are also semifinalists. Uh, I want to do a campaign on this show. I want us to get behind it. Tony Baselli deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. He's on an all decade team. How about this? He only played six seasons in the NFL because his career was cut short due to injury, and he still made an all decade team. Why? Because for six years, he was the most dominant tackle. In the NFL, and I want him in the Hall of Fame, and I also want to do the introduction speech. And if he doesn't go for that, I want to be mentioned in the speech. He's going to be my Tim Raines. Yeah, you know, Jonah Carey got behind Tim Raines. I'm going to get behind, and hopefully, the show will get behind Tony Baselli because he is deserving. Right, but Jonah Carey got behind Tim Raines because he thought Tim Raines was deserving. You're getting behind Baselli because you want to be in his speech. Oh, that's a good point. Do you think Baselli's deserving? Yes, I have my angles. I think, Do you he, think he's, deserving? he's as great as anyone to have ever done it at that position, but he also didn't play very long. But they say do, so neither, neither did Sandy Koufax. Mm-hmm. They had six or seven good seasons, and people, a lot of people will say he's the greatest pitcher they've Gale ever seen. Sayers, Gale Sayers, Gale Sayers, but still, it's harder to do that at left tackle. That's the only knock on Baselli. The only knock on Baselli is that he didn't play long enough. But they say dominate a period of time, and he dominated those six years as much as anyone did. Mm-hmm. I want you, because I have my angles, I need you, and you have credibility. I don't. I need you to get behind this. For me. Okay. And for Tony. Okay. So that you can be mentioned in the speech? Yes. Okay. And finally, the amount of time a traffic light stays yellow corresponds with the speed limit. If the speed limit is 50 miles per hour, the yellow light will be five seconds long. If the speed limit is 35 miles per hour, the light will stay yellow for 3.5 seconds, and so on and so forth. Did not know that. Amazing. For all the latest headlines and information, tune in the Sports Center on ESPN Radio all throughout the day. So, like twenty seconds is one point five. Uh, twenty miles per hour is one point five seconds. So close to being a good joke. <laughs> can't control that, man. You can't control that. I thought we discussed this yesterday. You shouldn't have the controls of what's funny and what's not funny. It's not fair. You were made so mad by that. I'm, real, I'm not, you know, I botched it. And I'm, I'm, the, I'm not even certain it would have been funny if I got it out correctly. I'm just very upset with myself. But Pacelli, I mean, we need to get this done. Um, let me ask you guys a question here. We're going to go to the bucket of death in 10 minutes. All of us are dreading it, except for Stu Gatz, who's got the golden helmet of life for three weeks because we've got nothing but bad stuff. What are the remaining penalties, Mike? What are the five remaining penalties on this grid before we flip over to another grid? Well, the Cheeto is still on there. That's one of the easier ones. You have to get your entire body painted orange. Um, there is the... Scroll down. The Zardos, the dreaded Zardos, is Oof. still there. Oof. Google it. If Google it. It's a 1970s uh, Sean Connery Oof. joint. Google Zardos. Wait till you see it's, it's a Borat. It's a Borat type rhythmic gymnastics uh, ribbon that we one of us would have to wear 
It's going to be a combination of uh, red Speedo, red suspenders, thigh-high brown yeah. suede. It's just Ooh. awful. And like, a I can't. I can't. Ooh. It's just awful. It's our nightmare. It, I mean, it's just, it I can't, it really what's is, worse on there? What's worse than that? Dan, Dan in that costume. No, and the internet is forever. Wait, hold on a second. Is there something with Rob McGill still left on the, uh, that yeah, hissing cockroach the hissing on your cockroach. Face. I'll wow. take that before I'll take the you Zardos. You would take that over yes. Zardos? Yeah. Yes, first. In a second, I'll take a hissing no, cockroach over Zardos. I would go Zardos. Zardos over that. All right. And arguably, the this is, this is something when this is the easiest one left on there. Uh, the Sting, where you have to be shirtless, oiled up, which is a positive if you're shirtless, and uh, you have to be strapped to a bass guitar for the entire show. All right. I just, okay. I need all of these to go away over the next three weeks. Yes. I do. I mean, I owe five the myself next two right weeks. now. Or the next two weeks, yes. I need all of these to go away. He owes five. He owes one from two years ago. we got to get Sarah Spain on the phone to make a ruling on that because she's going to throw a punishment his way. She might, in fact, drag him. She might take a golden helmet of life away from him. No, no. Like, I don't know what the commissioner's going to do for the fact that you've got something. You're in debt on something for two years. In fact, Mike, get get her on the line now. I want a ruling in real time, as I, fast as I we was, can. I was planning on doing this uh, this poem I have to do. I was planning on doing it on Monday. I was going to do a little Thanksgiving all right, recap all right, uh, in Mike, poetry form. Mike, he's, he's owed a Def Jam poem for two years. Please call Sarah right now. Yeah, your only way out of this is if you wrote this within the next hour. No, I'm tired it of it. I'm tired of it. Like, why does he have five outstanding penalties whoa, whoa. over two years? Whoa, no, no, no. I only have one that's outstanding for two years. The other four I lost this year. Okay, but why do you have one that's outstanding for two years? Mike never reminded me. That's a fine. I blamed it on him. <laughs> Chris Chris also has one that's two years old. One year. Last season. Yeah, you have to do. Uh, you Christmas. have to go up to strangers and sing Christmas carols. At this point, I should wait till January. Now. Yeah, that's what always happens. You always wait around the holidays, and then we All say right. that my man. Sit down. All right, Sarah's got to make a ruling, and let's get her on the line now. Stugatz is also upset. He must be about, upset about something else. There's a lot of stuff here. Let me explain this environment to you, okay? We are outside of the Bristol bubble. We work at a sports bar in Miami overlooking the beach by a pool. They largely leave me alone, but not necessarily us alone, because Mike has to deal with many different kinds of management things. So what I wanted to ask you, Stugatz, because I just saw on the television screen that next week, first take is going to be all ESPN radio. It just came up on the camera here. Right. Where it's Russillo and Kane, it's Bomani Jones, mm -hmm. it's Sarah Spain and Fitz. It's the new ESPN radio lineup. That's cool. Well, you know where I'm going with this, I know right? exactly where you're going with it, yep. Uh, was that something that was presented to us nope. as an opportunity? No, but maybe it was, and Mike just knows that I don't want to do it. That's why, this is why well, I bring all this up. I think it may have been presented to us. And Mike would know that there is no circumstance under which I want to fly to Bristol to do first take. None. Zero. And so this may have been something that you wanted to do that never got to you because Mike just nuked it before even asking me. I mean, we'll have to ask Mike. He's on the phone with Sarah right now. so uh, You'd want to do this, right? I'd want to do it. It'd be fun to do with you. I also know that you're not going to do it. You're never going to do it. I know. And, and I'm not even certain you would do it from down here, would you? Um, well, first of all, Mike, was this presented to you as an option? Uh, us being on first take? No. Next no. week. Oh, okay. I mean, <laughs> wait, hold on. Are Wingo and Golik doing it? I think I, they all are. Yeah. I, no, Wingo and Golik have their show that starts next week. I'm wondering if it's the new shows that are on the uh, the network. No one asked Spain me. and Fitz. No one, <laughs> no I'm outraged. One, no. I mean, I'm outraged. Why are you outraged? They what? know not to ask. That's well, actually no. a great job by them. They know not to ask Dan. They could have asked me. Oh, okay. But, but then I would day. have to leave the show to do first take. That wouldn't work either. I mean, listen, the real problem here is Dan. Is Sarah on the line? She is. Oh, no. All right. Sarah's the commissioner of our... Is she going to rule on Fat Chris as well? She's ruling on everything. Yes. Uh, I, I can't believe... I'm just learning this. I don't understand. So here's what you've got. Sarah Spain is the commissioner of our league, and she's very... She's, she's fair, but she's tough. And self appointed. I love you, Sarah. Um, you better not do that you now. You appointed me, Dugat. Oh, I did. I'm sorry about that. Love you. Yeah. You better be careful. Happy holidays. You better be careful. Yeah, I'm actually doing my Thanksgiving shopping right now, so I appreciate you 
interrupting me to rule on your negligence. Okay. Okay. Well, it's really fast. You got her moody. Yeah, you got. We got a. Pro- yeah, this is. She's in a bad spa- space here. All right. Yeah. So Chris owes Christmas carols from last year. He's got to go up to strangers and sing Christmas carols. It's a penalty from last year that still he still hasn't paid. Uh, do you want to administer a penalty to him now, or does he have a time frame? Yes. That he- no, no, no. This is far too long. He now has to do the Christmas carols dressed as an elf. Okay. Oh, wow. All right. Easy. All right. Wow. That's fine. Easy. That's fine. By when, though? And, and okay. When does easy, that... but you haven't done it in a year not dressed as an elf. So I'll, I'll, you know, when you finally get it done, we'll agree that it was easy. Sarah, we believe the strategy here is he's just waiting. So him going up to strangers and singing holiday carols is more appropriate because now after Thanksgiving, it's not that weird. Uh, right. Right. We were. Th- right. I mean, it's still going to be weird, especially because I've hung out in the area around the Clevelander, and people will probably think he's on drugs and potentially looking to loot them, Yes, um, especially if he's dressed <laughs> as an elf. But I'm, I'm down with all of this, and I think uh, also we should make sure we have a full video of it. Okay, by when, though? If this is not done by when, how does the penalty stiffen? Whenever you guys take your Christmas break, so probably the, the week before whatever is when you stop doing your show and force people like me and Izzy to fly in and do it, which I'm not going to do this year, uh, so I would say, yeah, so before December 20th. Okay. And right. now, before you get to me, congratulations on first take and congratulations on the new radio show. Very happy for you. Oh, oh, thanks. It's so nice of you. you, got, you got I'm it. so sorry it didn't work out for you on Mike and Mike and that they chose Wingo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, you know, I wanted to stay here with Dan, you know. All right. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. All right. So, um, so Stugatz from two years ago still has to do a deaf poetry jam poem on the stage here of the Clevelander from two years ago. Does he have a penalty or does he need to do it by a certain date before being penalized? Well, first of all, for anybody else, this would be one of the easier challenges, except for Stugatz is incapable of doing anything himself. All of his jokes must be read, written for him or said into his ear by Mike Ryan. So I think he's probably waiting this long because he was hoping someone else would write something clever and entertaining. Nailed and it. unfortunately, you're on, you're on your own this time, Stugatz. You will have to try to be clever and entertaining by yourself, which I don't, I don't think is possible. Uh, right. But, you know, shock, shock us all. Um, and n- you now have to do the deaf poetry jam uh, dressed as a beat poet, um, and it needs to be a full 20 minutes of material. Woo! What? Woo! Woo! Yeah. Get out of here. Woo! I take back everything I said. I hope your show fails no miserable. Pa- no long pauses, by the way. No long pauses. No musical interludes. It needs to be 20 straight minutes of written content performed. Yeah. Probably, I would say, some sort of you know black turtleneck. Yeah, a beret. I'm, I'm going to su- remind myself what a wow. beat poet. I'm going to sue like. the league to get a new commissioner. Wow, wow. We go Where to the bu- Dominic Fox. We go to the bucket of death next. <laughs> say hello to my little friend. Yeah, I'm not doing any of that. Just so you guys know. Well, what do we have now? Because okay. she's going to keep increasing the penalties. If you refuse, I'll never do it. Okay. Tonight. That's if we'll have a mutiny here with the commissioner. That's fine, but she is going to. This is going to keep getting worse. <laughs> Mike, you hear what Stugatz is saying? That he's simply not going to do it. That he's simply I'm not, not doing, doing twenty it. minutes of poetry. I, I mean, can't write twenty minutes done, of poetry. Done the five minutes. Yeah. I'm not even certain it's two years. I think it was from last year. So let's make it ten. Cut it in half. It's from two years ago. You're uh, negotiating with me. The ruling's been made. Well, I'm going to sue the league. Sue the commissioner. Um, Dominique Foxworth, new commissioner. Mike, would you give Sarah the information that Stugatz is presently golden helmet of life? And if she wants to, what are you doing? What are you doing, what are you doing here? Does what are you doing, are you know doing he here? Presently golden what, are, helmet of are you life? on my side? I mean, I'm not on your side. No, I want everyone to die here next segment except for me. I'm rooting against everybody. I am now selfish. Man. I and celebrated I not, your golden I, helmet of life. You did I mean, not. now you're trying to. No, yes, I did. No, I looked around and said no one was happy for me. And I kept oh. saying it. Oh. And I was genuinely happy for you when oh, yeah. you got the golden helmet of life. I was. But now I'm rooting against everybody. I mean, everybody. I ate that chip on your TV show yesterday. I mean, the things that I do. I, well, I go out to a corner and sell ice cream for this show, and now you're trying to take my golden helmet away. You're on Sarah's side. That hurt. That hurts. You. I should have taken the golden chip. You sold, you sell ice cream, and you eat <laughs> chips on television because of how badly you want the attention. Yep. Not because you're doing anything for me or the show. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you should have taken the golden <laughs> chip. Don Lebatard. Do you refer to the yellow sauce at a hibachi restaurant as yum yum sauce? Fifty-seven percent of the audience said no. Stugatz. Do you go ginger, 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 yum yum, 
yum 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 or yum 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 yum. Thirty eight percent of the audience said yum 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 yum. So they get three yum yum sauces. They ditch the ginger, get two yum yums with an additional yum yum. Second place was ginger yum yum. That Chris said earlier, no one goes ginger ginger. Eighteen percent of the audience goes ginger ginger, and eighteen percent of the audience also goes yum 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 yum. About that. This is the Dan Lebatar show with the Stugats on ESPN Radio. We are on the brink of anarchy here. Like we have a legitimate uprising. I don't know what's going to happen. Of course, Stugats is at the forefront of the chaos, simply refusing to do yeah. what the commissioner of the league has said he must do. And now in the background, Guillermo, Guillermo has developed a spine and he's like, I'm not doing Zardos. I'm not doing it, and I'd like to in 2017 for her to have to force me into that costume given everything that's happening in our environment. (laughs) And now what do we do? Because now we got a sexual harassment problem, and now we got a Disney problem, and we've got a genuine uprising here. The the commissioner's in trouble because, and and of course, it's Stugat with an IOU that is making everything unravel. Well, it's you bringing it up and demanding that Sarah come on the show. I mean, you could have just left it alone. I was planning on doing it on Monday. I told you that. Now we got this whole thing. I don't believe anything you say. You've gone two years. Anyways, we all got to go to the bucket of death. So let's go ahead and do this. I got the golden helmet, so I am going to check out for this segment. Like, literally, I'm going to leave for the segment. All right, you've got the golden helmet of life. Way to throw it in our face. Oh, yeah, because nothing was thrown in my face last segment. Enjoy your uh, venture into the bucket. No, what was thrown in your cell? Oh, Sarah threw stuff in your face. Okay. Whoa, he's coming back in here. He's bothered. He's legitimately bothered. That's always fun when he gets legitimately bothered and it's not my fault. It happens so infrequently, right? Where Stugat gets that kind of upset. He's bothered. We like this genuine tension. All right. So the Reaper needs a couple of seconds to get ready here. So let's go ahead and fire it off. Everyone's got to go to the bucket here. This is just terrible. All right. It begins with fats and info. Fats and info. This is the way the bucket of death works. It's a suicide pool, basically, for the weekend. And we uh, pick helmets from a bucket of death, and uh, those are our teams for the weekend. If they win, we're safe. If they lose, we've got to do some sort of shame. All right, Chris, go ahead, Fats and Info. Select from the bucket of death, please. You should rum- uh, rummage in that bucket. Man. Please be quiet, Reaper. Uh, Reaper, please be quiet. We need quiet oh, from the Reaper. I got the Lebo. Or, oh, wait, oh, yeah, that's a, a, that's a Lebo helmet, isn't it? It's a, I can't ba- really. Yeah, that's a Lebo is. helmet. Uh, so you, we call Lebo. I'm and he just picks any yeah. sports team. And he okay, picks any sports that. team. For that's any my brother, sport. the artist. He doesn't know anything about sports. And then that team has Rummage. to win whatever sports team. Oh, another writing. Uh, money. Oh, my God. I got the money bucket. No, you got the fine oh, I bucket. Got the no! I got the money. Instant death. I got the money. Instant death, but you get like a grand. There must be a fine. There must that fine money. There must be like seven or $800 in there. I'll keep it. Okay, you're going to be Zardos. Uh, <laughs> instant death. Uh, you know what? I'm happy with that. I'm that, happy with that. That gets somebody else out of my life with a death. All right. Stu Gats owes you a couple of dollars. Okay. <laughs> Reaper, shut up. Oh my God! I can't... Congratulations, Chris! No. Instant death. Don't, but he cele- gets... don't celebrate too hard. There's still a swap. Huh? All right, go ahead, Guillermo. You select from there. I got. Oh wow, the Shula Bull helmet that shouldn't be in there anymore. FIU and FAU. <laughs> they played last week. Wait a minute. Yeah. You... I'll take. Yeah, you take FAU. You take FAU. You win. It's still what? in there. It's a clerical error. What? You win. That's his error. You're a clerical guy. Come on, man. What? What? what is that? What? No, he should have to pick either FIU no. or FAU. I picked FAU last week against FAU. No, no, you, have to, you get them this week. That's that's nonsense. That should have been they, out there. Wait a minute. Do they have really easy games fault. this week? Who do they play this week? I know FAU's got, uh, at the very least, FAU's got the, the, the conference championship game. No, no, no. We don't let them get them. Uh, let them scale I vote Bank Air in his favor. It, he was That's what I error. vote. I vote Bank Air in his favor, too, but Mike Ryan is jumping no. in here with the rules. He knows that he, was, he should have taken that Shocking. home All right. out of there. We are going to wow. sort out the rest of the bucket of death next. I just... We got a break. <laughs> we got <laughs> We got to go to break here. <laughs> that is Straight Talk. It is brought to you by Straight Talk Wireless, nationwide coverage on America's <laughs> largest and most dependable 4G LTE network. Don Lebatard. Chris Cody is the man with the most refined taste in the shipping container. 
Your thoughts on this fight? Stugats. I've always liked Connor. Oh, oh my God. Oh, that is a- oh, flame out. Oh, <laughs> man. I went to you. Oh, I tried to tee you up, Cody. Oh. This is the Dan Lebatar Show with the Stugats on ESPN Radio. ESPN Radio is presented by Progressive Insurance. Hold on a second. Guest on the Dan Lebertard Show up here via the Shell Pennzoil Performance Line. Here's your Sports Center update. Dallas Cowboys owner and general manager Jerry Jones says he will not sue the league over Commissioner Roger Goodell's pending contract extension, but emphasized that he still wants accountability in the process. First year eligibles Ray Lewis and Randy Moss are among 27 semifinalists for induction into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Jimmy Johnson and Terrell Owens are also semifinalists. And finally, authorities say a man who was in a Colorado court for violating his bond of a drug charge is in even more trouble after a wad of cocaine fell from his hat while he was in front of the judge. For all the latest headlines and information, tune in the Sports Center on ESPN Radio all throughout the day. All right, we've got anarchy around here. Method Man's going to join us at 1230, but this is crazy what's happening now. So Sarah Spain has made a ruling, a commissioner ruling. She says... That helmet doesn't exist. It shouldn't be in the bucket. Guillermo should not have FAU, FIU. Guillermo had the option before Sarah Spain was called of selecting either Florida Atlantic or Florida International University. He declined. He took Sarah Spain's ruling, and now he's defying Sarah Spain's ruling. He says he's simply not going into the bucket again. Mike, how do you want to handle this as the annoying rule maker around here as this game continues to get more and more complicated because of how stupid it is? I mean, you said it yourself. Billy had an opportunity to not have Sarah involved here. But what are you going to do if he refuses to simply reach into the bucket right I'm not, now? I'm not sure. Billy is really difficult to deal with around this bucket. He's, he's an anarchist when it comes to this. I think he should honor the ruling, considering it's his job to take that helmet out. Reaper, can you make this segment a little slightly less about yourself? Thank you. I don't know what to do if he just refuses to go back to the bucket. What uh, are we going to do? I think the ruling is, uh, uh, like, he has to go back. Damn, are you going to take whatever punishment comes from you not going back to the bucket? Or what How? What do you want to do? I'll compromise and take FAU this week. You had that a compromise available to you before we got her involved, though. <laughs> She didn't offer a compromise, and we bring her in to not do compromises. We bring her in to make rulings. This is difficult. You're not going to budge on this, huh? I'll put it back if everyone. There we go. Yes, because yes. I just don't know what to do. If we've got total anarchy here, you want litigation? You want an Ezekiel Elliott situation? I don't know. All right. So now, now Guillermo's reaching back into the bucket. Draw again. Save. Okay. All right. So you're you're safe. You're You're safe safe. no matter what, but he has he has the opportunity to save someone else. White side. All right. White side blocks over two and a half blocks. Unbelievable. All right. So if White side has uh, over two and a half blocks tonight against Boston, you have the opportunity to save someone else. If he doesn't, then you save yourself. All right. Guillermo is angry, but he should be very happy because he just saved himself. He should be happy with this entire set of circumstances he did what was right for the show he was the team player and now he is saved roy go ahead and select uh select from the bucket of death feel free to get in front of that microphone and tell us what it is that you got uh, another well, writing how is helmet, this helmet still in there is the f is it the, yeah, f- the fiu fau <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute wait a minute what no wait a minute wait a minute he just selected the fiu fau helmet with this. roy do you want FIU or FAU? You are, or do you want to put it back and just select a second helmet? Uh, I don't want to cause any trouble, Mike. Thank what should you, I do? Roy. No, just no, again. don't, no, don't defer to the, don't, don't defer to the dictator Titan rule maker. What are you doing? I just what wanted to pick doing? FAU or We've FIU. We just had a ruling on this. That's not an eligible helmet. You are not the ruler on this. Sarah just ruled on it. She said it's not eligible. It's not eligible. So why was it still in the bucket? That's Billy's fault again. <laughs> it's uh, FAU. And it was FIU, a fair Roy. question by you to ask. I'm kind of wondering myself. FAU or FIU, Roy? Um, I'm throwing it back in. Whatever. I, I don't know. I'm picking again. All right. Very good. It seems like you've just been scared into doing this. I uh, know. I just don't Chris is in the background. Just uh, nobody and I'm gets the bad Swap helmet. Uh, I have the Seahawks. <laughs> All right, so the Seahawks. They play the San Francisco 49ers, I believe. The Se- oh, you are it. the bad guy I'll in this it. circumstance. The Seahawks are, okay. Yeah, you don't help me. You you frame me as the bad guy. It's all your actions. I, mean, it's, I, I know what you're I, up to. I don't even want Behind the whole the scenes, bucket. 
Behind Seahawks the are at the 49ers. They're a seven-point favorite. So um, now Mike's going to select from the bucket. <laughs> Alabama helmet. Ooh, but it's a tough helmet this week. More writing on the helmet. It's an Alabama, so I can. I, you I can, can put the it back. They tie. are what a three-point favorite against Auburn. You're going to put back Alabama. This is a tough game. I'm not saying that Alabama can't lose that game, but when do you ever put back Alabama? I thought Alabama Nick was Saban, put in there to give you to, to be like the Golden State Warriors. Nick Saban has never defeated a nine-win Auburn team. Did you know that? You are putting back the Alabama oh helmet. Six. He's zero and six against a nine-win Auburn. You, team. I can't believe it. This is stunning. I am putting back the Alabama. Oh! <laughs> I got the Eagles. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, they play the Bears. The Eagles are a 13 and a half point favorite against the Bears. All right, I'm so upgrade. scared of this bucket. Dan, you won't swap with me, right? Come on. I'm, uh, I don't want instant you, death. No, you won't pay $1,000 to have uh, a death. death. You can keep the money. Uh, if I swapped, I might swap with somebody else. I might take my Eagles. Uh, thank you, uh, Reaper. Yeah, I will rummage a little bit here. I am so scared of what's presently happening here. Oh, the Bengals? Oh, they're at home against the Browns. They're an eight-point favorite against the Browns. That's about as good of a I'll Bengals helmet I'll that you can it. pull. That's fine. Thank All right, he's keeping it. I'll keep it. Um, but let me go ahead and select second time just to see what I would have gotten and, and see if you guys would be made happy by this. Oh, it would have been the Golden State Warriors. All right. All right. Man, this is a pretty good draw. Yeah, not for the, the audience. Way around. I don't know why segments. it needed to be a fight the entire time. It was. It, I don't understand. Guillermo, can I, I – I want to check in with the status of Guillermo because he seems to be seething. Um, he didn't do his job very well that segment. He is a little bit of a diva when it comes to this bucket. So where, how are you feeling right now? Because it seems like that should have been experienced as joy by you because you are safe this week and yet you're sitting there simmering and seething. Is this directed at Mike Ryan or at Sarah Spain? No, this whole thing is stupid. And if I win, I'm saving no one. <laughs> money, 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 money. <laughs> How'd the segment go? <laughs> Herzberg, <laughs> Hellsberg Diamonds, excuse me. They're a new, they're a new what sponsor. What did you get? <laughs> Thank you for coming back, Stu Gatz. Uh, new sponsor hallway, time, or... people. Right on time for the gift-giving holidays. Are they... Are you ready for everything that Hellsberg Diamonds is bringing you? This was not my most professional read. I was surprised by the Hellsberg. I will do better next time, Hellsberg. All right. That's a five. At Hellsburg Diamond, the best gifts come with a special box. The Xbox One S. You owe another dollar. That's not for a what? You for got me. a name wrong. I said Hellsburg correct. I was just scared about it. But I never, you blame the copy. I, I never got You blame actually the people who invented Hellsburg. I don't get fined for blaming things tone on issues. others. No. Tone issues. No, you owe you owe two dollars. You I'll put two no, in when you put no, it. No, my two. tone's not bad. My tome is not bad. That was pretty bad, so. Don Libertard. See how quick he is at slithering around I'm things? Good. Like, yeah, you are good. You're, you yeah. are a master liar. Stugatz. Like, you are you are a genius liar. You are like uh, the Einstein of liars. This is the Don Libertard show with the Stugatz on ESPN Radio. UCLA wished head football coach Jim Mora a happy birthday by firing him Sunday following the Bruins' 28 to 23 loss to USC. Don't be uh, don't feel too bad for him though because it's the highest paid state employee in California's contract was bought out for 12 million dollars. That's what he got. 12 million dollars. I don't feel bad for him. Find out more about this and other stories by logging on to espn.com slash college football. If you call yourself a college football fan, get rid of cable and switch to direct TV. Call 1-800 direct TV. Dan, it is time to pump the brakes. Can we pump the brakes? But everyone's saying that what Baker Mayfield did against Kansas is going to hurt his draft status in the NFL because one anonymous GM came out and said that his Johnny Menzel-like behavior will hurt his draft stock. Man, this guy is doing nothing compared to what Johnny Menzel did in college. Nothing. And the comparisons are making me angry, and they should upset you as well. You know what? He's cocky. He's got that attitude. He's got some of those things that... Make him a great quarterback. And they suspended him for being Baker Mayfield. I don't care. I want some of that with my quarterback. 
I want a little Philip Rivers with my quarterback. Just knock it off and pump the brakes in the comparison to Johnny Manziel and what he did against Kansas is going to hurt his draft status. A, he's nothing like Johnny Manziel. You don't know that yet. And B, it's not going to hurt his draft status. If he goes to the combine and he's good, he'll be selected high in the NFL draft. It's brought to you by Advance Auto Parts. No one knows cars like the professionals at Advance Auto Parts. So the next time you need help finding the right tools or parts for your car, stop by. We'll be ready to help. Advance Auto Parts. Let's get you back on the road. Method Man going to join us in 45 minutes. I am genuinely torn. Genuinely torn. Uh, Getting a lot of this by text. I love the show and tried many times to get my coworkers to listen. And today is the day that they all actually gave it a shot. Thanks a lot, because that last segment was catastrophically horrible. Here is where I am torn. Hmm. I trust my judgment. Also, I wasn't here for that segment, so what happened? I trust my judgment in just about every walk of life, and I don't think that there's anything that I get more consistently wrong then I hate that segment, have hated it since the start. Don't want it on our show. Have done seven or eight polls trying to get rid of it. You guys seem to love that segment. And I don't think there's anything else that we do where my judgment is that off on it. I thought the last two segments of radio that we did are about as bad as anything we've ever done. That's what happens when I leave. And... My judgment is just off on this because I, I don't, Stugatz and I experienced this so much differently. Stugatz came back, sat in front of the text machine, and he's like, Dan, they love it. Look at it. And it's just because Stugatz only sees compliment. He well, only sees periscope parts. It's the only thing he doesn't, he's got a filtering system where he just doesn't see or notice the people criticizing that's him. That's not true. Well, it is true. But I was looking, I actually was looking at Twitter at the mentions. And you know what? I just think. For the people who love this show, just about anything we do is going to be good. So I think what you're saying is fair. They're going to like anything that we do, okay? I'm just telling you the reaction I saw on Twitter, and it was, um, Dan, it was all positive. Now, maybe that's not the right place to be looking. I don't know. I don't, I, but I'm at a genuine loss because I feel like it's watching other people play a board game. And I never want to do that. Right. And so I'm while I'm in it all the time, I'm thinking this can't be fun for the audience. And one of my objections about doing it all the time is, the number of times that we all feel like we're just playing a game and don't even care about the audience. That was two segments long of us yelling at each other. That's what that was, wasting the Disney platform hmm. two, for two segments because we couldn't get our timing right. And now it's three. Now it's three segments. Right. And I don't know what to do with it. Like, I really it's don't. actually four if you want to count the Sarah Spain segment where she just yelled at me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, uh, but I, like, I'd be totally fine with that, whole going, hour. that going away forever. Like, right now. Never seeing it again. Uh, Chris was dancing the entire segment the, because he won. How many dollars did you win from the fine bucket? I thought it was a great segment. It was at least seven hundred and fifty bucks. There's a ton of singles that I haven't counted all yet. So when I uh, when I pay back my fines, will be up to a thousand. Uh, when you when you get counting get done counting all the IOUs in there from Stu Gotts, you're going to be close to a thousand. And you know what's going to happen now, right? For two years, no one's reached into that bucket. Somehow, seven times in the last segment. People picked FIU, FAU, a, a, a helmet that shouldn't have even been in there. But that fine thing has been in there for two years with everyone wanting to get it. And what's going to happen is next week, Guillermo's going to get it, and he's going to be all excited. And what's going to happen is he's going to get instant death and $4. Yeah. And it's going to be the second draw, and I won't be able to put it back. Mm-hmm. And only Zardos is going to be left. <laughs> ah, Guillermo, Guillermo hates everything about that segment even more than I do. Guillermo would be totally fine voting, a community vote to get rid of that segment forever. But the audience would turn on us, Guillermo, very quickly because the audience does like that. And I'm I'm telling you, that was a disaster. That was not that was not good radio. But I'm also telling you that my judgment on this is to not be trusted. Right. Yeah, pretty good judgment, though, man. In I general. Mean. So if we do away with the whole thing, the whole segment, does that mean that any punishments um, were good? <laughs> Your six outstanding punishments? Everybody, I'm, I'm fine with no, it going no, away. Not, it ruins we my week. We can't do away with the segments because people like us dressed up too much, and that's good television, and it's funny. Billy's even angrier now because something just came across the Twitter timeline. Billy, for those that don't know nationally, is a huge Marlins fan. 
he hates Derek Jeter. Oh, I saw this. And some news just came across. What happened? I wrote it down, actually. You fired Rich Waltz now. Yep, he did. What? Rich Waltz is no longer the uh, play-by-play guy. He fired their lead broadcaster? Can't wait for Michael K. to be down here calling games. Oh, my God. (laughs) This guy. I mean, he's The day before Thanksgiving. Classy move, Jeets. (laughs) Give him a a gift basket. This guy. The worst. And Conine, the worst. by the way. And, yeah, uh, Conine Preston again. Wilson. Second time. Yeah, he's Second fired time Jeff he fires Conine, Conine twice. He's, his name, his nickname is Mr. Marlin. He, he fired played him for twice. nine teams, yeah. but he is Mr. Marlins. And he he fired him, and then he had he invited him back at a reduced rate that was insulting, right? Conine, was it Conine insulted by the reduced rate that they were going to bring him back at? Yeah, it was like a third of what he was getting paid or something. Oh, my God. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but nobody cares nationally that Derek Jeter is fi- firing the local broadcaster. The day before Thanksgiving. I, that part. Derek. Derek. <laughs> <laughs> Derek. Don't be Steinbrenner, Derek. <laughs>